hey y'all so i wanted to come out here and make this video because i know that it's possible that nothing's gonna happen that nothing's gonna come of this but i wanted to make this video because i was just discriminated against in alta now if you know me i have never even thought about stealing the thought of stealing the thought of putting anything out in the world that's not peace kindness and love i take no part in it I walked into this altar that I always go into. It's my neighborhood altar in Altamont Springs, Florida. It's the one that I go to all the time. I do my makeup every single day. I'm a teacher. I do my makeup every day. Like I go in there. I talk to people all the time. On this particular day, today, just now, I went in the altar. I just left from taking a walk. I went for a walk this morning. So I didn't have my makeup done. I didn't have anything done. I'm just going into there to grab a few things so i go into the altar and i do what normal customers do i walk around the store i'm with my best friend i walk around the store i look for a couple things i don't have my wallet with me i was going to use the digital wallet on my phone because i was going for a while so i walk around the store i do regular things that you do i have like the juvia place swatch on my hand because i'm like oh i'm gonna get this one I pick up that I pick up an NYX lip and then I go over by the lashes mind you it was not that many people on the floor and I kind of needed help because I wanted a certain item that was not there but I was like whatever I just grab the things that I know about so I go by the lashes and a young lady come behind me and she said hey would you like a basket I'm like yes thank you so much I put all my stuff in a basket and then she proceeds to say um no, I asked she, do you need assistance or anything else? I said, yes, do you guys have any more of the blood? She was like, no, but I can order it for you. And I'm like, no, it's okay, girl. So what I have in my basket now is the Juvia Place lip liner. I have an NYX lip. I have a Tree Hill little body scrub. And I have my lashes that I put in there. So I'm like, okay, no. I go find my best friend. Because I'm about to go find my best friend because I'm ready to check out. And the young lady asked me again. She said, hey, did you need assistance with the Juvia Place? now i'm like what is she talking about i'm standing by lashes i'm nowhere near juvia place juvia place is all the way over there but i let it go over my head i was like oh no no juvia place no i'm fine so i go ahead and go by the perfume and we're like looking at it and she's like still over me and she said hey make sure you don't open the perfume use the tester i said yeah the tester's right here i got it so now i'm like what is wrong with this lady I'm walking to check out with my best friend. My best friend only have a true heel, me a tree heel um, body scrub. And this is the second time the lady asked her. She said, hey, did you need a basket? So now my best friend's annoyed and she's like, no, I don't need a basket. I only have one. So she's like, no, I don't need a basket. I only have one item. Can you stop asking me if I need a basket? Like I only have one item. And then she was like, oh, because I was missing a few items from the shelf, a Juvia's place in the NYX. And I was just trying to see, have you seen where it is? So I took it out my basket. I said, are you talking about this? This junior place and this NYX? Yes, it's mine. I'm going to take it to the register and purchase it. And she was like, oh, well, I'm asking because it was missing. And I was trying to see if you had it. So I'm like, did you ask anyone else? Did they see it? Because this one is mine. I'm going to purchase this. What do you mean you're missing an item and you're trying to see if I have it? Of course I have these items because I'm going to purchase them. So I'm like, okay, now I feel harassed. So my friend takes out her phone and she's recording like, is this harassment in real time? We've never been harassed ever. So we were so shocked. When my best friend started recording, the young lady proceeded to say, oh, yes, my name is Denise and I'm the experience manager and do not report me. Um, and then she said, oh, I do not give you consent to report me. I feel attack call the police she told the young lady to call the police so the young lady get on the phone she's calling the police and just for my natural response i literally started praying for this lady because i saw that there had to be some type of hurt there had to be some type of need for healing so i pray over her i'm like god give her joy give her peace i'm just praying over her because she i am so shook so she goes on to say yes i feel attacked because you are recording me and i said and i feel attacked because you harassed me i have a video that i'm going to post because i have to post the video because the police came and do you know what happened when the police came we could have left before the police got there but i wanted to stay one because i'm not a thief 
my best friend and I, we waited for the police to get there. When the police got there, I had a conversation with the police before he even went into the altar. I'm like, I'm so happy you're here. Let me explain to you what happened. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. And he was, he heard our side of the story. I told him we just came into the store. We walked around the store like normal customers. We picked up the items that we wanted. And before we made it to the register, we got into this conversation with this experience manager who was asking us about missing items that she was looking for. And I'm just like, and then we, you know, just left the store. But now you're here and we're talking to you. So he went inside and spoke with her and he came back out and he was like, hey, so this is a situation. She pretty much told me the same story you told me, but it seems like you guys have an altercation. So we have to trespass you. He took out his phone, took a picture of me and told me that I was trespassed. Go to the altar up the street and just don't come back to this one. What? Oh my gosh. Like I was so hurt. My heart was hurt listen when i tell you this i've never stolen anything in my life the thought of stealing never comes up in my mind i go in that store all the time i'm a middle school teacher I always go in there with my makeup done i'm fully in my professional attire i have great interactions in this store this was the first day i went up in there and i had my hair wrapped up because i went for a walk i did not have on makeup i just had on my regular gym clothes i had no personal bag and i was harassed in this manner and i'm so heartbroken that the police came out and he still treated me as if i was trespassing and he said because there was an altercation there was no altercation i never used profanity i never raised my voice i prayed of the young woman and i stayed there until the police got there and i was still I still was trespassed, which I was never going to go back there anyway. I would never go back to another altar at all. But the fact that that was the solution for a problem of discrimination is crazy. I hope this reaches the CEO of Ulta. So you, I pray that you know the type of discrimination that's going on at your store. It is so sad. It's unfortunate. Denise will one-handedly bring your company to the ground she is not given an experience that customers paying customers deserve to experience when i walked in that store the first young lady i saw i gave her a compliment on how beautiful her skin is when i go into the world i give love i give kindness i am a light in all the dark places i walk in that's why i had to stop and pray over this young lady because i think she thought my response would be hostile but i have no hostility in me because i have total peace but i pray that the ceo sees this video and understand that altamont springs florida miss denise olsman or whatever her name is that you no longer have her on your team the way i was discriminated against is disgusting and if you pull the cameras you can see i was a regular customer in the store doing regular customer things nothing about me was so i'm going to post the video because i think it's important for you to understand the way that my tone was the way i communicated with this young lady the way that i condoned myself I am a woman of God. I'm a professional woman. I have hundreds and hundreds of middle schoolers who look up to me every single day. I would never go inside of a makeup store and steal a $10 liner ever. Never. It's never that serious. Okay. So I pray that this video reaches the masses. I pray that it reaches the CEO, that he will sit still and watch a video from a black woman who loves this store and the experience that she had. Alta in Altamont Springs, Miss Denise, is so sad. All the employees that were there, they sat there and watched like they were mute, like their voices were stolen from them. They saw the wrong that was happening and had nothing to say about it. Please, please, don't shop there.